a Dragon Ball Legends video, which isn't just summoning, but actually fighting. That's interesting for me. Hey guys, what's up? It's Alexis here, and today I'm going to be doing some Ultra Space Time Rush Battles. I've done all the other levels except for level 5, and yeah, I'm going to be doing them before they reset in about 12 hours. So I'm going to do the first 5 fights of this uh, level 5 set, the Rush 5, like right now. Sorry about that, I, um, I'm drinking a fizzy drink, you know what happens. But yeah, let's start fighting, shall we? So, basically with these challenges, if you're not aware, you can clear through them any way you like, but you get extra rewards if you do what the challenge says. So I'm going to have to use a green character to fight all these. So as long as I pick one green character, I'll do the challenge. So I'm going to pick Captain Ginyu, because Ginyu's cool. And we're going to want to pick a couple of blue characters to face the red ones, because they have an advantage. But these are level 5000, so they're going to be pretty tough. I'm going to save my Panchan for later because she's one of my best units. So I am going to pick Goku. And I'm going to pick Frieza because I find his little space pod entertaining. So yeah, I've got quite a lot of um, level 5000 characters. But yeah, I'm going to be fighting now. I'm just going to unplug my phone from the charger so I can move around a lot more freely. And my, compu my, my computer, my phone isn't the fastest, so it takes a little while to load, but that's okay. I thought five fights in each video is a pretty good number, and then it'll give me time to have a few videos lined up, and for you guys to be more entertained for longer. So I'm gonna pose with Ginyu, because he's cool, <laughs> and then I'm gonna fight, I'm gonna fight Frost with Freezer, and Ginyu's gonna watch in awe, because his boss is actually gonna fight for once in his presence. He's going to do the Dance of Joy. But, um, we're just going to beat him down. You're going to see what my playstyle is on le like on Legends. So I think I did PvP ages ago. But I haven't played it for ages. So we're against Kale now. and she She's one of my favourite units in this game. She's cool. Let's Freeze is really good in this, actually. So, two, two 35s. His little, um, very happy face. That took her out really easily. Oh, that was a waste of key, but oh well. <laughs> Let's give Goku a run, shall we? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Guldo. Let's rise and rush for the victory. That was a really easy fight. But yeah, the first couple are pretty easy, but um, the later ones get pretty OP, so it's going to be a bit of a problem. I've done it a few times though, so don't worry. That attack's really cool. It's like a dragon fist punch without the dragon fist in a way. So that was really easy. <laughs> Goku's little E. That was really cheeky. I haven't heard that before. I like that. That's funny. I trained this Goku, but I don't really use him. That's why I picked him. Yeah, he's pretty good to be honest though. I've used him a couple of times, but I think I didn't have the sound on, so I didn't hear his little E. So as you saw, I got the extra points there for do for using a green character. As long as you have them in the team, you don't actually have to pick them. Like, you don't actually have to fight with them. So it's pretty useful. So this time we got to use a red character. And I want to save my better units for later. But we'll pick a decent one. Let's pick Android 17, because my bro is pretty cool. And we'll probably pick another red unit because they're super effective against um yellow units. It's oh it's not Pokemon, I'm just um They have an advantage, there you go. And then we'll pick a blue one to um hit Sal because he deserves to be smushed into the ground. I'm gonna pick Zarbon for the diss. Because Lord Freezer's attendant. You know, I like Zarbon, he's pretty cool. I just did the weirdest Sarbon voice. It sounded like Guldo after like 15 beers or something. <laughs> but, um, battle two, let's go. For it making weird noises again. I'm gonna use 17 for a bit because I love you, 17. 
You and your park ranger swag. Show Kula your power. Oh no, looks like Zarbon's coming out early. Lord Freezer. I can't do voices while playing, I gotta concentrate. I used the Japanese audio, which you guys have probably noticed. I like the dub for certain things, but I overall prefer the Japanese. The dub is good though, I like the dub still, obviously. Also, most people use the dub, so it's nice to do something different. Gonna Rising Rush Shao, Sal, because, um, I don't know, I just want to get rid of him. I don't need to be as, um, careful in these earlier battles. It's the last five that are gonna be a bit more serious. So that's all she wrote for Sal. Sal is not gaining perfection this time, thank you very much. I am against Kuda again. Foriza's brother. But Kula shall share the same fate as his brother because I'm playing Toranksu. And I'm pronouncing them all Japanese. Because why not? Oh, he ran away. Okay. I'm going to save that attack just for Kula. For the diss. This Trunks is actually really good though. I like him. Oh my goodness, that's so OP. <laughs> I didn't remember this mode being so easy, but it's the last five fights which were really a pain. Okay, so he's used up his dodge, his like little snap vanish, and this should be game. Gonna chop him up salami slice, there you go. Your history! He has been defeated. I defeated Cooler like his brother got defeated. Did you guys like that? Objective complete. <laughs> so that's the second rush done. Yeah, my aim is to get max um, points because then you get more rewards at the end when you finished. Otherwise, if you don't do them first time, the reason you want to do it first time if you can is because you basically have to replay the whole thing again to if you, even if you miss one thing. So if you want maximum points, you just got to do it right the whole time. So there's two reds, so we need at least one blue character. I'm going to go Goku, Spirit Bomb. That's another one of my completely maxed out characters with red stars. And then I'll need a yellow for Trunks. So I'm going to pick a weaker blue to back up Goku. So I'm going to pick Vegeta. That's actually not very strong. I'm probably going to pick another one. So they're starting to get tougher now. So I'll pick Goten. And then for my yellow, I'm going to pick Bardock because that Trunks is an extreme and so is my Bardock. So yeah, a little bit of strategic picking. But yeah, I think this video is going to be about 15 minutes, maybe a bit longer. So that's pretty good. But yeah, please let me know if you like me actually fighting on Legends, you probably do. But make sure to comment what units are your favourites and also like the video and comment in the regular comment section too if you're watching this live. I'd really appreciate it. Lost my focus and Paikuhan is kicking my butt now. Let's give the little Goten some love. I'm going to bring Goten in. Some people really hate Goten and I kind of see their points but it's not the little squirt's fault. Okay, that Pycon's pretty strong. My attacks aren't really denting him very much. So, Bardock time. This move's really cool. Gonna show this Trunks what I'm made of. I was using Trunks before, now he's my enemy. That was pretty good. He had an advantage though. Broly isn't going to beat me today. I'm saving up all my sparkings for the later ones because they get really tough. Like even tougher than this. I think I'm fighting at like a lower power level though. So overall. So I'm going to have to beat them down a bit longer. 
Kamehameha. Well, that scream, it didn't do that much damage. Oh no, I got mad now. That's not good. This isn't OP Broly, though. Oh, we might be in trouble here, actually. Wow, Broly's reaction. He's not a happy bunny. I've really got to go in. I've got to concentrate to not lose this. Like, if I picked an underpowered team, I could lose, but, um... I think I can win. I'll pull it out somehow. By doing something like that. I'm starting to get some momentum. Momentum, So I'm going to keep it up. So this Bardock has a recovery. to recover health as well. So that's pretty awesome. That might be the deciding factor of this battle maybe. Unless I keep doing that. That's really bad. So Paiku Horn's hitting me with his um, signature iconic move. Oh wow, that's a really good tap from them. I did pretty good, but they just won up me. This Paiku Horn's being a pain. Yeah, I've started to shut up because I'm concentrating. But um, I think I can still pull this out if I play well. This Goku does pretty good damage, but he can take some quite good punishment. So that's good. I'm gonna switch out Goten because he's kind of the weak link and it's okay if he absorbs some damage. Sounds mean, but it's the truth. I'm actually gonna go all in on Burley now because that should nearly take Burley out or defeat him. Because Goten's still doing good damage. This is when this kills Broly and Goten's the MVP. Yeah, it didn't take him out, but it was close enough. Go on, Trunks, don't do that, that's not very nice. This third match suddenly got really intense. This is going to be way longer than 15 minutes. When you count your chickens before they hatch, right? Less talkative when I'm concentrating. Oh, Paiku, Paiku Han just came in at the last second there and ruined it. I think I'm definitely going to go tense full health, but not for long. I'm gonna have to have a quick drink after this um fight. My throat's a little dry. Goten's actually doing really good work, not gonna lie. Good little boy. Oh no, he's getting pretty smashed now. Kodanksa. Yeah, that's Trunks gone. Okay, we definitely won this now. Broly is tough, but he's not that tough. Get out of here, Broly! That one well. Just Paiku Han. There you go, we finally won. <laughs> Goku's squeaky response is our victory words there. Getting a drink quick. Okay, so the audio didn't cut out. I was just skipping through it while drinking. So, fight number four. We need a blue character this time. Let's take this seriously. Let's pick all sparking this time. So, the blue's good for Turles. Now we need a red character. Let's pick Sal. The most tolerable version of Sal. Well... I actually like the first form of Sal the best because um, he's the scariest. Perfect Sal kind of gets on my nerves because he just brags too much. 
I won't pick black. I'll pick this Goku. And, um... That's a pretty good team, to be honest. I think we'll do good with this team. Apologies. Um, fizzy drink doing fizzy drink stuff. But, um... Yeah, I feel like I'm really awkward today, but um, I'm starting to get into it. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Kakarotto. That's the old Broly. The one, the one no one likes. <laughs> or the one people liked, the people like too much, and then they remade him. Original Broly's motivation so stupid. Team 4 star said it best. He's so cool, but he's so dumb. That pretty much sums up his whole character. Oh no, he, he absorbed Broly's energy, now he'll be unstoppable. Do you guys remember the um little thing in Budokai Tenkaichi 2? No, Budokai Tenkaichi, the original, where um... I don't know why I can't think of this android's number, but th this android here and Chiaotzu have a rivalry because they both look like clowns, it's really funny. <laughs> Who am I kidding? That's Android 19, isn't it? Yeah. I just forgot one of one way Android Brethren's names were. I'm sorry. I never technically met him. So. I met him once before Jiro put me to sleep. But like, come on. I don't know why I did that. I just kind of, um... Missed that completely. <laughs> I couldn't finish him off. I don't know why I'm doing Android 18 roleplay when I'm being myself. It's kind of weird. Just roll with it, guys. <laughs> you guys love it, really. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Goodbye, Turles. It has not been pleasant. That'll be all she wrote for Turles. Solar system busting Kamehameha blast wave. There you go. I like Turles personally though, he's cool. People call him the original Goku Black, but no, he's Turles. More like Goku Black is Turles 2.0. Oh no, I was going to use Sal's ultimate attack, but um, I killed them by accident before that. My bad, sorry guys. But yeah, I'm going to be uploading my um, Goku video, just up powering up Kakarot, my, my little event guide first, before this video. But I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to get it up by tonight, because my computer's so slow, but um, we'll see. But yeah, I'll have a few videos to upload, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, the support on my videos recently has been amazing, so thank you. I really appreciate it. It's been so fun talking in chat, and um, it's just lovely to hang out with you guys. By this video being up, the Discord server should be up, so I've probably been talking to you guys by then, which is weird, because I'm talking in the past about the future, but there you go. We're playing Dragon Ball, guys. But yeah, we need one Legends Road character. So I'm going to use our favourite little monkey boy. Kid Goku. Let me find him. I can't find him. So this will be the last fight for this video. And then I'll do the other five fights in the next video. So we're going to need two yellow characters. Because we have two purples here. So. I want to pick um, Rosie. Because I just got her. But um, I've decided I'm going to first use her in PvP. Because I love um, Ribrian and the Kamikaze Fireballs. And I want to have a really fun reaction while fighting someone online. That'd be fun. So, I got Kefla by the way. I haven't used her either. I'm saving Kefla as well. I am going to pick GT Vegeta. There you go. And then for my blue, I'm going to pick Krillin. Because Krillin is awesome. And I'm going to have a drink before this fight starts. Okay, I'm ready. My voice is very up and down lately. It felt better yesterday and now it's just like, I want to die today. <laughs> so it's funny. 
But this Legends Road Goku is really cool. I really like him actually. Oh, me hitting that perfect um, counter tap. That's pretty rare for me. That times you guys are pretty chill right now. You gotta be relaxed to do that, or at least in high concentration. No big bang for you, Vegeta. The only big bangs coming to your face with Krillin's fist. Oh, this Goku has a extra bar of health. I clicked it, but it didn't go, but I still hit it, so that's okay. Oh, this is Goten, not Goku. My bad. Well, that's one of his health bars gone. GT Vegeta using Gallic Gun is so cool. Oh, Goten's little cry of, um, pain. So it's Igaza. Let's go then, Goten. You can't go more than Vegeta. I don't even know what I'm saying now, it's just getting weird. Okay, that completely missed. Good job, Vegeta. Goku's switching in. Krillin's switching in. Yeah, you don't want to be stubborn and leave a character out against a element that's good against it, because you're just going to get railed on. Unless it's like a situation where you have to sacrifice them for the good of the fight, then I wouldn't do it. Or if you just can't switch, like what happened to me just then. Goodbye, Gohan. Yeah, I'm playing pretty good today, actually. Oh, that was my bad. I switched into the wrong thing. So that's going to mess me up real bad. I refuse to give up, though. Even though I want to use Goku's move, which I wasted, I'm going to switch because why not? Okay, Goten's really railing on me. Krillin getting in some good hits there. Vegeta! But yeah, this should be a pretty easy win. I've just got to pay attention and not make dumb mistakes like I have been. Goku's going to get some redemption, come on. Oh no, he keeps switching as soon as I use Goku. Timing is very important in this game. You guys are probably aware of that if you play it. That if you waste something, you waste it hard and then you're in trouble. So I've got another rising rush here and that should be able to end the game. I'm going to end this with Vegeta because I think he deserves it actually. He's made some mistakes and now he's going to make up for them. And that's all she wrote folks. Final attack guys. That final shine. And that's Gallic Gun for this one. The final shine's a cool attack though from GT Vegeta. Yeah, go eat some space cake or something, Goten. And wash off that mad loss. Yeah, my my um my insult game's not here today, guys. But yeah, that was really fun. Um this is part one of my random rush battle ultra space time rush battle video and i'm immediately gonna recall part two so i should be pretty chill in the next video but uh thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye guys